I'm Officer Michael Bullock, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, last of B-U-L-L-O-C-K, with the Austin Police Department Public Information Office. Well, today at approximately 8.33 p.m., officers responded here to the Barton Creek Mall for what was initially a robbery hotshot call, where information had been received that there were three individuals breaking glass cases and stealing items from the Hellsburg Diamond Store here inside of the mall. As officers were responding to the scene, additional information was received indicating that someone had possibly heard shots being fired from inside of the mall. As a result, this call was upgraded to what we call a gun hot shot, which initiated a larger response citywide from multiple other officers and allowed AFD and EMS to arrive on scene in the event any victims were located. No information had been received of seeing an individual with a gun or of anyone having been injured. However, out of an abundance of caution, uh, all of these officers came together with a coordinated effort to clear them all safely to ensure that the public would be safe, given that there's usually a large amount of people inside of the mall this time of year um, and on a weekend. After clearing the mall, no victims were located and no additional evidence of a gun having been inside of the mall was seen. So at this point in time, uh, we are still working the incident. There are detectives that are here on scene and our initial investigation is showing that most likely that shot fired report came as a result of the individuals hitting hardened glass at the Hellsburg store trying to break it. They did ultimately break the glass and were able to get away with some items at this point in time is the information that we have. Right now, we do not have any suspects in custody. No victims were located. It does not appear as if anybody was injured as a result of this incident. We do realize that it was a very chaotic scene, but you saw a large number of police, fire, and EMS units, and this was because we were able to coordinate very quickly and arrive on scene to create teams in order to clear them all as quickly and efficiently as we can to ensure that there would not be any threat to the public. So again, right now, uh, we are investigating this as a sole incident involving the theft at the Hellsburg Diamond Store, and no other incident appears to have occurred at this point in time. Do you have any questions for me? If you can answer this, how does APD coordinate with mall security in a situation like this? Sure, so each situation can vary, but we um, we come out here fairly frequently for a variety of different types of calls, and so we have contact information for security, and usually at these types of incidents, we'll find one of the security officers very quickly so they can communicate on their radio channel as we are communicating on ours so we can quickly talk with one another. So we usually arrive on scene and try to set that kind of stuff up as quickly as we can so we're communicating with everyone. We hear about stuff like this happening around the nation every so often. What's kind of your advice to people who were inside? A lot of people said they, you know, went to shelter inside. They tried to get inside the stores. What's what's your advice? Sure. I understand it's very difficult, but the best thing to do is to try to remain as calm as you possibly can. People who shelter in place, you know, we certainly understand that. But rest assured, when these types of incidents do come out and we know about them, almost the entire city is going to descend upon this location to try to make sure that we can secure the area as quickly as we possibly can. So no matter what is going on, we are trying to get there as fast as we possibly can. But the biggest thing that the public can do is just be aware of your surroundings, making sure that you're you know, paying attention, call out suspicious things. And then, like I said, an instant like this where people did shelter in place, there is nothing wrong with that um, by any means. And we got to those people to ensure they knew it was safe as quick as we could. I'm not aware of that right now. We are working with them. Like I said, our investigators are here uh, trying to talk with them uh, and go through footage. We are aware of one security camera footage uh, that has already been made public. So we are asking that anyone that did see anything or has any footage, please do contact us. In particular, as it relates to the Hellsburg store um, or any reports that if there was actually someone with a gun, please do contact us. Um, like I said, as of now, we have no information that that was actually the case. But as far as the actual inventory that was taken, that's going to be part of our investigation. What's the process for police SWAT when they do get on scene, or what happened here today? Could you kind of talk, walk us through kind of the timeline? So I, I can't give you exact times on response, but in these cases, this actually was not a SWAT response. So we have officers that are trained in uh, basically clearing large buildings and dealing with large amounts of groups. And most of those officers actually work patrol. 
And so those officers, we don't have to wait to call in specialized units. They're officers that are usually already on the streets. And that's what allows us to have these special responses without having to call in additional units and have it done very quickly. Um, and the same goes for fire and EMS, and we will try to do coordinated training with them as well. So training for these, these types of incidents is ongoing. It's something that we try to keep fresh uh, in the event something actually does happen, and we are prepared for these types of things. And, you know, debriefs do happen to make sure that we're being as efficient as we can. But as far as I'm aware, there were no major incidents with our response here tonight, and it all came together very quickly. Did they just kind of go in once they got here and kind of clear the scene or? So the the exact tactics aren't going to be something that we usually get into just because, you know, we like to make sure that we are able to maintain the upper hand in the event that there is someone that is intending harm to the public. But just in general, like a single patrol officer can respond and be the first one to start initiating contact and going to ensure that lives are not being threatened or harmed. So that's our, our number one priority is to ensure that life is preserved um, and then to get people out that may have been injured as quickly as we possibly can. It was late, it was late in the night. Yes, it was late in the night. Um, also, it's also like before Christmas, but there are a lot of people, people that working at the jewelry store, were they closing up? What was kind of like the Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure exactly the status of how many people that were here. Um, obviously, it is a, you know, we're coming up on the holidays, and so there are more people out than would probably be normal on just any other weekend. So um, I, I can't, again, speak to the exact number um, as far as employees or how many patrons may have been inside. But like I said, it is, you know, there were a decent number of people that were here that either sheltered in place or that we did evacuate as soon as we got here. And there's no suspects in custody. Is there anything we could be on the lookout for? So at this point in time, we do not have anybody in custody or detained. Um, again, we are working on developing those exact leads as we're reviewing footage and going over other evidence right now. Right now, I don't have anything else that I can give you specifically, but we are working to get that information as quickly as we can. You know, the mall plan to be open tomorrow, or what their status is? As far as I'm aware, the mall will be closed tonight, but I believe they do plan to resume normal operations tomorrow. Does that include the jewelry store? That's going to be up to them. Uh, it depends on, I, I have not seen the extent of the damage, so I can't tell you if they're going to say it's safe for them to resume operations or not. But each each individual store can make up their own minds as to whether or not they can reopen or not. Were any stores in the mall open at the time? I know the movie theater, obviously, and sure, I'm sure some of the restaurants, but was it so late in the, the night that there weren't really any stores open? I mean, it... 8, 8.30 isn't too unusual of a night, so I believe there were a handful of stores that were open. Uh, but again, I cannot speak to exactly how many were open um, or how many stores were doing business at the time of the incident. Initially, there was a tweet where it said that it, was, it happened near the food court. Is the jewelry store right next to the food court? Uh, I'm not sure the exact proximity between the two, but as you can imagine, it is a, a mall. It has lots of hard surfaces, which sounds can bounce and reverberate off of. So uh, it, things can happen at one part of the mall and it sounds like they're very close even if you're on the other. But I, I don't know their exact proximity.